Although the Texas Rangers had their beginnings as a loose band of volunteers protecting the pioneers, their structure, leadership, and training would change dramatically. Over the decades, they transformed from roving rangers to militias to frontier battalions and eventually became the state's most elite investigative force. One of the biggest changes for the rangers occurred in 1935 when the Texas legislature decided to improve the quality of law enforcement in the state and created the Department of Public Safety. The Texas Rangers became part of this larger organization, and in 1938, Homer Garrison became their chief ranger and also director of the DPS. With Chief Garrison and crime technology pioneers like Manuel T. Gonzalez leading the way, Texas Rangers now had access to the training, modern crime labs, and fingerprinting technologies that would shape them into an even more elite investigative force. Today's Texas Rangers now work on the cutting edge of investigative technology using DNA sampling, ballistics, and an extensive online crime database to build their cases. Throughout their career, they study and train in order to stay on the cutting edge. Once a person is appointed a Texas Ranger after competing in the promotional process, their entire career is spent training, but especially the first two years of their career, they really won't start their full-time work as a what we call a field ranger. They will have a duty station in the field and that duty station will be spent with a mentor who is a more experienced ranger and throughout those first two years they are assigned to uh, extensive forensic training within the state and out of state at universities in other states and in Texas to study the use of the latest scientific techniques in gathering evidence. In many of these rural areas we're talking about there is no crime scene unit like you see on TV. The ranger that drives up has all that equipment in his car and is the crime scene unit. Years ago, when the ranger first started, they had to be able to ride a horse, shoot a gun, and cook, right? And we started in 1823 with 10 Texas Rangers. Now, we issued guns and laptops. Every ranger has a laptop and it's installed in their vehicles and it goes everywhere they go. We have progressed with the times. And if you want to be involved in law enforcement, it's a very modern uh, situation these days and you need your educational background to pursue that. Today, 144 Texas Rangers are posted in seven companies across Texas. And although the size of the force may be small for such a large area, each Ranger is so well trained and motivated they can be counted on to get the job done. The type of person it takes to be a Texas Ranger is the type of person that can get things done on their own without a lot of close supervision, with a lot of initiative, and that works without being prodded to work. They're stationed across the state in rural counties. They don't have a supervisor watching what they do every day. Their supervisor may be in Houston and they may be stationed in Jasper, Texas, and they must be trusted to do what's right on their own. 